Hi and welcome to my simple checkpoint system. In this example we're going to look at a 2D level using a non-linear approach. To illustrate this I will set up the level using my checkpoint actors. For 2D projects you can easily lock the Y axis. Now one of the first things that you want to do is, well, set up whether it's linear or not. In our case it's going to be a non-linear approach and we have to specify the game slot name here. We'll call it game one. Also, we'll specify what type of collision we want to use. In this case, we'll use a capsule collision. So we'll disable the other two. Now, every subsequent actor needs to have this unchecked. Only the first actor should have this checked for obvious reasons and also we have to set up the checkpoint value. This effectively determines the order of the checkpoints and should be set up regardless of linear or nonlinear approaches. And just like that our level is set up with these checkpoint actors. Now what oh I forgot to specify that in order to make sure that we don't have any existing game slot files already created from previous testing you can easily delete them using this checkbox simply activate it and deactivate it and the game slot file referencing this name will get deleted so now when I start my level is a brand new game slot file okay the nonlinear approach means that basically the actor will spawn at the last activated checkpoint regardless of the order. Okay, for our next example we're gonna try the linear approach inside of a 3D project. Now as you can see right now it's set up to a non-linear approach. If I want to quickly set them all back to linear I can simply adjust this on my first checkpoint actor and now it won't show instantaneously because this happens on construction scripts so a quick way to do this is just go in and out of the level or you can simply move your actors okay so now that we've got them all set to linear let's take a look at what happens basically what this means is let's say I skip a few checkpoints and I go and get a further one. Now if I respawn you'll notice that I'm spawning in the corner. But let's say I backtrack and grab the first checkpoint actor. When I respawn I'll respawn in the corner again because this checkpoint had a higher checkpoint value. So this essentially means that you can set it up so that the player can't backtrack to earlier checkpoints or at least he can not get spawned back to earlier checkpoints. Now if you've noticed also my character gets spawn in a specific rotation. This is easily done through the player rotation. That way my character doesn't spawn um, facing a wall or anything like that. In the case of this one, if I left it um, actually, well, let's just put it to... Well, actually this one was already good. Um, but let's say this one was zero and then we'll start. So when I spawn I'm gonna be facing the wrong direction or a direction where I wouldn't really want to face because this is in this example behind the progress of the level I want to face this way when I spawn so this is easily done this way and as such all the other actors are also set up when I spawn I face this direction and this one will face this direction so this is all easily done in the editor. Um, so thank you for watching and uh, until next time, take care.